Okay, it's uh, Tuesday afternoon, December the 5th, and I'm completing uh, version 2 of my lockdown distributor modification. The first version uh, that I thought I had working okay was really not uh, performing well at all with uh, spark chatter at uh, very high RPM. So we've got our dwell meter set up here, and I've marked off the scale. We've set it for about 27 degrees here, if you can see it. This is the dwell part here for degrees for an eight-cylinder. And I don't know if you see very well, but this is my homemade uh, adjustment tool that I use up inside the distributor. Uh, so that I can adjust the uh, points. Clockwise uh, raises the dwell, closes the points, and counterclockwise uh, lowers the dwell or opens the points. So we've set them about 27 degrees and the distributor has been locked down to uh, approximately 30 degrees uh, total timing with no uh, advance. Uh, just as a reminder, I put myself a little note on the distributor to remind myself which way the points are supposed to be open and closed. So I'll put that back. Okay, I'll uh, try to give a demo. This version is working so far really, really well. Uh, we've got our damper down here. It's hard to see, but I use the uh, the old, old style flat, flat uh, type damper, and I have to have it marked with chalk on the side because there are no reference points other than that pointer that you see there. The pointer being top dead center when everything's at zero. All right, let's uh, start it, and I'll try to demonstrate what I'm trying to explain here. I have to let the O2 sensor warm up. I'll go ahead and cut the fuel pump on. Okay, I got a remote starter here, which makes it really nice. Okay, it was probably hard to, to see or view, but uh, if you'd been here, you would have noticed that uh, the timing was really staying very steady at 30 degrees uh, total lockdown. And when you gush it, there's about maybe a one degree swing at the max as I can determine. And I think that that's coming from uh, these old distributors, which I measured, uh, has 48 thousandths uh, clearance between the uh, vertical 
portion of the shaft, the shaft going this way has uh, too much play. But uh, other than that extra uh, play in the distributor, uh, the modification up inside is uh, performing uh, better than I expected. This is uh, really the most stable dwell I have ever gotten on, on a set of points uh, style distributor. So I'm hoping that this is a cure-all for some of the problems I was having at the racetrack uh, Saturday when the uh, car just did not want to take, take the uh, acceleration pulls very well. Okay, uh, thank you for viewing and uh, have a good day.